Hey guys, it's Destiny with EDM Identity, and we're here live at EDC Las Vegas 2024. And we have... Blaze. <laughs> so today, you know, it's going to be her first set. It's going to be an amazing time. I mean, you did just finish a pool party, I believe. Oh, yeah. How was the vibes there? How was everything? It was awesome. It was hot. I'm not used to this heat. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the vibes were great. Everyone was having a good time. People in the pool were doing little whirlpool mosh pits. Um, it, it was good. Amazing, amazing. And I mean, right now, your set is just about to happen. How are, how are we feeling? Oh, my God. Honestly, I think I'm going to throw up because I'm so nervous. No, <laughs> but it's like all. a good nervous. Um, I'm just so excited. And from being in a art car in 2021 to the base pod, mm -hmm. it's huge. <laughs> I know. And I mean, the stage did get extended, so we're very excited for that. Oh, and yeah. I mean, the layout yeah. is awesome. So, you know, we do wish you the best on that. And then Thank I you. do have some fast fire questions for you today. Are we okay, ready? Hit me. <laughs> ah, perfect. Okay. First one. Awesome. Okay. So, what song were you blasting to pump yourself up for EDC Las Vegas? Okay. So on the way here, I actually wasn't listening to anything because I was just so nervous, like very anxious, but a good song that will usually pump me up and just get me hype would probably be any any Suicide Boy song, like yeah. Gutter Bravado, Thousand Blunts, like any of that. <laughs> noted, noted. So everyone subscribe to the playlist after yeah. so you know exactly what to listen to exactly. after. <laughs> Perfect. And if you could produce any genre that is not your own, which would it be? Ooh, there's a few. Okay. I'll do top three. Okay. I have to say Tech House because it's my Sabrina's project. Okay. Um, I guess it's uh, a genre underhouse techno. Yeah, 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 definitely. Techno. I've been making a bunch of techno recently um, and rap. Mm -hmm. I think as an artist, it's really good to be versatile and not only stick with one genre because you're going to get burnt out of it. Yeah. Um, so those would be my three that I would dabble with. <laughs> That's amazing. And I mean, with expression and just how you are as an artist as well, like you definitely want to like, you know, extend that to your fans oh, and just yeah. let the, let them know that side of you, I guess. Oh yeah. I always throw in a little bit of like techno or like jump up music in between my sets. <laughs> yes. I love that. Okay. Well, the next question. Perfect. And what is one underrated skill that every DJ has? I would say talking on the mic. Um, cause it's, if you're, if you're DJing and you talk on the mic too much, mm -hmm. people can be like, oh no, like they talk too much on the mic. Mm -hmm. Like that can be like a bad thing. So I feel like you should have like a good sense of how long you should talk on the mic, when you should talk on the mic okay. and be good at math for countdowns when you say three, <laughs> two, one, <laughs> you yeah. can't say two and then the drop's already there. <laughs> Literally. And what is like a signature mic of Lay's? Like what, what, what is like your signature? Oh, I always start with, y'all ready for that heavy shit? <laughs> yes. We are definitely ready for yeah. that. And then perfect. And last question. What does playing EDC Las Vegas mean to you? Oh my God. Just saying that I like got the chill. <laughs> um, it means the absolute world to me. Um, I, when I was, uh, I want to say when I was like 15, I was watching a bunch of like EDC sets. Mm -hmm. Um, and I would wa listen to like SoundCloud sets from other artists at the bass pod specifically. Yeah. And to be the artist on that side of the stage, is just like, it's so surreal. Like I, it, it doesn't even feel real that I'm about to play. Um, but it means the world and it's like, Sometimes as an artist, we have um, imposter syndrome, yeah. not sometimes, always. <laughs> um, and to like just soak it all in and be like, OK, I'm here for a reason. It's the best feeling ever. It, it means that I'm actually like I'm working hard to where I want to be at. <laughs> exactly. And I mean, once you see the, everyone at that stage and just applauding you and just getting for that house space oh, and that yeah. feel and everything. And, yeah. you know, what is going to be next for you? Like now it's EDC, the biggest yeah. festival, the Super Bowl of all right. <laughs> festivals. What's next? Like next projects, any other shows, um, anywhere you want to see? So in June, we I go back on the bus for the Excision Nexus tour for a month. Yeah. Um, last month was such a blast like hanging out with all the other artists and getting to know excision more like mm -hmm. the whole team we're becoming like more of a family and everyone is so great so i'm excited to be back on the bus with them mm -hmm. bus life is amazing i love it yeah. i don't think i'll ever get tired of it <laughs> um so we have that mm -hmm. i have an ep coming out um very very soon Yay. new music next month mm -hmm. and something very big and special 
towards the winter. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So, can we get like a little like three word sneak peek of it? Can we get any hints for this interview? Um, I'm just gonna say the word aftershock. Ooh, a, well, a little, a little hint, a little well, Easter egg. <laughs> I got a little zap there as yeah. well. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely stay tuned to Lays. Watch the live stream. Be sure to follow her on socials. And thank you so much for your time. Yeah, we really you for excited having to see me. You. Yeah. <laughs> right. Bye, guys. Bye.